Do you also think the Eldorado Fortress and the Pirates of Barracuda Bay look awkward when combined? I'm going to fix this difference in size by turning the Pirates of Barracuda Bay into several smaller models using only the pieces from that set. Last time I showed you my first model, an Imperial Guards outpost. But where's the pirate ship, you might ask? Well, here it is, Redbeard's Black Pearl. It is a smaller version of the original pirate ship from the set 21322, but more maneuverable. To reduce the size of the ship, I used the Brick Bounty from 2015 as a guide and used only three hull pieces instead of four. But I was able to keep the two masts with all the six sails. It also has a brown and black color scheme, which makes it more serious and realistic than the Brick Bounty. The stern of the ship is elegantly curved and the rear wall is angled just like in many LEGO pirate ships. There are eight windows across all sides, so the captain has a good overview of the surroundings. The ship has a cannon deck with slots for up to four cannons. Two cannons are included and they can fire projectiles through the gun ports on the sides. There's also a plank that can be extended or retracted to toss minifigures overboard. Dares lead to the aft deck, where you can find the steering wheel and a lantern. The rudder can be moved manually. Behind the cannon deck, there's a brick-built door that leads to the captain's cabin. The inside of the cabin can be accessed by lifting the deck and the sides hinge open to let more light inside. The cabin has a bed, a navigation table and a marble bust that I carried over from the original set. There's also a hidden compartment under the floor where the captain can store his treasure chest. If he ever finds one, that is. But don't worry, he might have a chance to find some treasure in one of the upcoming models. Stay tuned for that. The rowing boat from the Imperial Outpost can be attached to the rear, just like in some of the classic pirate sets. The galleon figure is a mermaid with a brick-built tail and a trident. The crew of the ship consists of only two members, Captain Redbeard and a female pirate. Who knows, maybe she's the real boss of the ship? They could use some more crew members and they might find them in my upcoming models. Of course, there are Jolly Rogers on the masts and the stern of the ship, three in total to show others who they are dealing with. The ship is very sturdy despite the tall masts. The front mast is too short to include a 32 stud long axle, but it still holds well. The ship is also very accessible and it has a lot of space for cargo and battle scenes. This makes it a good playset as well as a great display model. The ship looks good next to the new Eldorado Fortress, but once I complete it, my own Imperial Island will be almost as large and will include a tavern for the pirates. That's right, I have more models in the works to create a whole pirate world. And you can build them all with the same set 21322 using no extra pieces. How cool is that? So what do you think of Redbeard's Black Pearl? Do you like it? Do you want to build it yourself? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to visit my replicable site where you can find the digital instructions for this model and the Imperial Guards outpost. Just follow the link in the description and get ready for some Lego Pirates fun.